Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet these flowers. I'm using 3.5 millimeter hook and iron weight yarn. So let's get started. The flower looks like this. This is the behind and that's the front. So there's six petals into each of these two rounds. So six in the front and six in the back. And it looks complicated but actually it is very simple so let's start start with slip knot and chain six one two three four five and six then I'm gonna close it by slip stitching to the first chain And creating a ring so I'm going to work into that chain one this chain one doesn't count as a stitch and now I'm going to place nine single crochet into the ring so insert your hook and do nine one I'm going to place a stitch marker into the first one Two, three, four. Now slip stitch to the first single crochet. So I'm going to take the stitch marker off, insert the hook, and slip stitch. So I've got now nine single crochet. So now second round is going to be two single crochet into each of the stitches. So I've got 9 and I'm going to end up with 18 single crochet. So chain 1, insert the hook into the same. 1 and place the stitch marker into the first one. And insert into the same and do one more. So I've got 2 and repeat. 1. Two, one. So after 18 two. single crochet I took the stitch marker off and I'm going to insert the hook into the first one and slip stitch. So that's the end of round two. Now for round number three I'm going to do chain three one two and three and place my stitch marker into the third one because this is counted as a double crochet. Now after chain 3, I'm going to do chain 4. So 1, 2, 3 and 4. And skip next 2 stitches. So this is where I've worked. I'm going to stitch, skip 1, 2, go into the third one and do a double crochet. So, so yarn over and go into the third one. And do a double and again chain four one two three four skip next two one and two go into the third one yarn over and go into the third and do double crochet so here I've got my double crochet I'm gonna repeat this pattern all the way around so you're gonna have six chain 4 loop 1, 2 and 4 more to go so 1, 2, 3, 4 skip 2 go into the third and do the double crochet so here I'm in my last loop so chain 4 And I've got here two stitches left one two and now I'm gonna go into the chain three so where I've put the stitch marker on so take that off and into that chain three going through two loops I'm gonna slip stitch so grab the yarn 
and slip stitch so that's it for round number now for three. round number four I'm gonna go back to the last stitch of round number three and insert the hook into that stitch so if you look this is the chain three and this is the last stitch of round number three so this is the stitch that we skipped these two and we slip stitch into the third chain so I'm going to insert that like this and go back so I've gone back so the loop is in front of the hook and I'm going to grab the loop so this is where I ended the work and I'm going to now grab it and pull through so like a slip stitch so this way so now I can start my next round so after you're in this position now you're gonna do work into the next chain for loop and do 12 double crochet so yarn over it will be a little tight and go into the loop and grab the yarn and do the double crochet so this is the first double crochet of round number four and once you've got that pull little bit toward the right side and I'm gonna place a stitch marker into that first double crochet so here you go and now I'm gonna place 11 more so total of 12 double crochet so yarn over go into the chain 4 2 3 if you can't fit 12 into this chain 4 do 10 it doesn't actually matter doing 12 or 10 so just do how many you can fit into this chain 4 so here I've got now 5 6. so after 12 double crochet I'm into this double crochet here so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a slip stitch so it's, which is going to be a back post slip stitch using this uh, double crochet so go into the back insert the hook into that double crochet like this so you can see you're going through the back and this is a back post as you can see the post is in the back of the hook so I'm going into the next chain for loop like this insert and grab the yarn and slip stitch like this so you got a slip stitch behind and the petals is gonna look like this now now to work the next one I'm gonna bring the work again so this double crochet you can see it got a stitch next to it the right side so the previous one so you can see there's two stitches so I'm gonna bring the work into this single crochet the second one so exactly what I did here but this time I'm gonna chain three so one two three pull and you got this loop now look here in front of these petals go down below there's two choose the left one or the one close to the double crochet insert the hook and go back and grab the loop from the back like this and insert and you got this loop here kind of a slip stitch now go into the next chain for loop and work your 12 double crochet so you can see it's the exactly same thing I'm doing right now so this is going to be the repeat now so yarn over and go into the chain 4 and do your double crochet 1 pull and then do the rest of the double crochet 2 3 
そうそう、I'm back with my 12 ダブルクレッシャー and again I'm gonna do a back post slip stitch using this ダブルクレッシャー stitch so go into the back insert the hook go through the ダブルクレッシャー and the chain 4 loop grab the yarn and pull through so that's it and now chain 3 1 2 3 pull and now go in front of these petals go down below there's two chains choose the left one <coughs> excuse me and insert the hook and grab that loop pull through so here I've got into this position again and I'm gonna work again 12 double crochet into the next chain four loops and repeat now to finish the round you can see I don't have here any double crochet to work so the slip stitch has to be done using this first double crochet where I put the stitch marker on so from the back I'm gonna insert the hook into that first double crochet so take the stitch marker off and now go back from the back insert the hook into the first double crochet and now go down below like this so go into the back and grab the yarn pull and slip stitch so like this now it's done so now it's secure You've got now six petals and if you want you can stop here or continue for the next rounds so the next round is going to be very similar to the third round so what I'm gonna do is I need to bring my work into this single crochet so you can see if you pull you can see two single crochet so I've already worked into that one but I'm gonna work again into this one which you can see there was the double crochet of round number three so pull so this is the next petal after the slip stitch you can see the slip stitch is here I'm going into that one if you pull you can see there's two single crochets so there's two stitches one and two so I'm gonna insert into that one so from the back insert into the first one and slip stitch like this so now I'm ready for the next round so once you're here you can start the next round which is going to be chain 3 and this chain 3 counts as a stitch so this is the double crochet so exactly like round number 3 and this time because the petals are going to be a little bigger I'm gonna do chain 6 instead of chain 4 so one, two, three, four, five, and six. And now go into the next petal. So this is this one and go into the next. And if you pull, you can see there's again two stitches, one and two, work into the first one. So yarn over, go into the first and do a double crochet. And now repeat chain six one two three four five and six go into the next petal and pull and see two stitches go into the first one double crochet so you're gonna have six chain six loops so go ahead and do the chain six and 
I'm here doing my last loop one two three four five and six and to finish you see the stitch marker point which is the chain three I'm going to take it off and slip stitch to the chain three so go through two loops and slip stitch so that's it for round and for the last round which is the next one is quite repeat of the last round so what I'm gonna do is so this is my slip stitch point and this is the last loop go down below so this is where I've done my double crochet and there is another stitch next to it so if you pull through each of these uh, petals you can see that there's another stitch left and this is where I'm gonna work so now this is the slip stitch this is the chain 3 so the one right next to it so this stitch insert the hook into that one so and go in front of the loop so not behind but in front of the loop and grab and slip stitch like this pull through so now you're ready to work into the next chain six loop and this time you have to do 14 or 16 so whatever you can fit into that petals into that loop so I'm gonna do 16 double crochet so you can do 14 as well yarn over and go into that and double crochet so this is going to be my first one and I'm gonna place a stitch mark into that first double crochet and now place another 15 oops two three So after the 16 double crochet you can see my petals now it should be easy to understand what you're gonna do you're gonna slip stitch using the double crochet so back post slip stitch so go from the back insert the hook into that double crochet and you're gonna grab the yarn pull through exactly and you got the slip stitch now chain three so it's kind of repeat one two three pull and look down below from these same petals and you can see there's one stitch left you see if you pull you can see there's one stitch left and now I'm gonna grab that so go through the petal and this time from behind grab that loop pull through so that's done and now I'm gonna do the same thing 16 double crochet into the next chain four loops so yarn over and go into the next and do your double crochet one two and after the 16 i'm going to repeat again with the slip stitch behind the double crochet And chain three one two and three pull go and now again go into that stitch and grab the loop slip stitch and repeat so just repeat all the way around you're gonna have six petals again so i've done already two four more to go so here i've got another flower which i've completed all the way around and now i'm going to show you where to slip stitch to finish the work so after the last petal you need to go again into the first double crochet of the first petal so go from behind insert and go underneath the petal like this and grab the yarn 
slip stitch chain 1 pull cut the yarn so that's it that's the flower done so this is how it looks thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you